Operating out of the gun. He's going to quickly throw it out to Nick Harwell, and Harwell's got a gain of maybe a yard. Empty backfield. Dicer. Quick throw. It's complete to Daywan Scott, and he linebacker Salter Green, Wallet, and Wolf in the secondary. Swings it out to Harwell. And six. Harwell already with a couple of short catches for Miami. Another quick throw, and it's intercepted. Mark Fackler. His third interception of the year from unbelievable defensive end with his third interception. Look at the timing on that instinct. Great vision, reading the quarterback, getting the arm up, and then really coming down with the interception. You see here, bam, the presence of mind to stay with that, make the catch, and again, doing up in their efforts on game day. All right, so Dicer goes to work. Heavy rush, he's forced out. He'll chuck it deep. Day one, Scott's open. And he can't come down with the ball. So we see Dyser hit him with the short pass, short pass, short pass, and then he goes long to Daywan Scott. Now we talked about him, him in the open on his deep routes, you know, averaging 16 yards per catch right there. They go with two safeties in their secondary look on this second down of 10 play. Harwell takes the swing pass, cuts it up for a game. It's tough, doesn't let anything bother him. Those were Coach Treadwell's words. Dyser, quick throw. Scott makes the catch with the ball. That play didn't fool anybody on the Kent State defense. Second down and 10. Dicer throws quickly, gets it out to day one. Scott. Those five yard routes, it's just, in our opinion, it's too hard to do. And we saw it with the interception with Fackler. Look out. Dicer tucks it, takes off, can't get away. And he is going to be swarmed under. He picked up a yawn uh, to victory. Dicer on a first and 10 play. Flushed out of the pocket, chucks it deep down the middle, wide open. Luke Swift inside the 30. And this is all set up by giving Dysert some time. Look at it, he extends the play with his feet and he finds the weakness in the secondary. Blown coverage. Spot just to his left. Dysert steps up into the pocket. Throwing deep to the end zone. And it is incomplete. Sir, you see the confidence now. Really throwing that into the heart. There's Wallet and there's Polk right there. They're all over the receiver. There's really double coverage into that deep zone. But he's nice. Play action. Quick throw. Complete to Andy Cruz. And he's down to the 20. Hard. You know, Cruz gets that leverage, that inside leverage. He's an easy target. On third and two, he goes to his tight end, Steve Mark, who's four into the game at tight end. Nice shirt again going to throw. And he is hit. And he is sacked. Secure the sack there for Kent State. Watch the pressure on this. Now they have three routes running, and they're all vertical routes. That's just not enough time under the pressure. There's Polk showing up, coming off the corner blitz. Bam, look at him drive his feet and stay with the bigger Dicer on that. Dicer rolling near side. Goes back, ball batted up in the air, and it's intercepted. Second interception of the day. Ohio. On the tip ball. Who got the ball on initially? Take a look at Dana Brown. Dana Brown, number six. Yeah. yeah, and Hetchins is right there. You'll see Hetchins sometimes on the offensive side. The line of scrimmage put themselves in a second and four. Dysert coming near side, and he hits Dustin White, his tight end, who takes it inside for Miami this year. But just a little better than 50% when it comes to scoring touchdowns in the red zone as Harwell had one go right through his hands. Elves here in the early going. Dysert. Over the middle, hits Dustin White, the big tight end. Look at him. Nicer. Let's it go deep for the end zone. He's going for Harwell, and it's incomplete. Polk. Well, this is a great job by Polk getting in the receipt and getting Harwell's hip pocket right there. All right, and he fights off. Harwell gives him a little bit of a shove, but a Polk stays on his feet right there. Good balance, and then fights for the ball, and then Green comes over. And Bill Huff, Josh Klein, Pat McShane, Kent Cleveland, Ryan Winters. They're paving some big holes. Down the middle. Harwell's got it at the 35, the 30. And he's and work in the middle of the field with Harwell. Good. Again, throws the ball on time from his spot to a wide open. Har and then Dustin White, the tight end to his left. He's looking. He's got running room. Now he takes off down to the 24 yard. They send pressure. Screen pass set up. Treadwell outside, inside the 20 to 15. And hit the hard line. Dicer rolling, firing for the end zone, it's a touchdown! Nick Harwell brings it in. So his little rubber pellets fly up.
telling you that he got the one foot needed in the end zone for the touchdown. Big time catch, big time chemistry, great route by Harwell on that. Really just right in front of the defense, defensive back. Good, get good chemistry, good timing on that. Looks like they do have now become very good friends. Roethlisberger is a big fan of Dicer. Now Zach's going deep. He's going for Swift, but he overshoots him. Looking for, and you know, there's some speculation that you know it's not too far fetched that he might end up in Pittsburgh. He scrambles away, and he's I tell you like his childhood uh, childhood uh, boy idol. You know, he uh, you see him on the scramble here. What I'm getting to is to show some toughness there. Score here would cut the gap to 21 late in the first half. Juan Scott was open down the middle, but. And Dicer will be sacked. Boy, the pressure coming off the edge. Boy, I mean, a bull rush there by number 34 to keep this drive alive. Underneath the short route to Cruz. Cruz. Dicer goes deep. Scott's got it. Does he hold it? Who averages better than 16 yards a catch. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's hard when you're putting them, that number of receivers in a route that Miami does. They're working against three deep right there. You see Scott, he's able to find the seam. There's the deep corner. You got one, two, three. You got seven guys across the five-yard line. Nowhere to go for Dice. Dicer now with a second down and nine situation. Play action. Looks. Look out. Here comes the rush. He'll go down. His brother, Josh, plays linebacker for Miami. That's just great effort by Dooley right there. He beats the right tackle. He comes. 24 seconds and counting. Dicer goes to the end zone, and it is knocked away by Paul. Fourth and 14. Yeah, this is the second time now. He goes to Harwell. Now Harwell's covered. All right, needs to come off that. He had it now for Zach Dicer. Good protection. He throws to Cruz, and he's got a first down catch out to the 35. Beaver in catches and yardage for Miami. Yeah, he gets a, runs this little curl, about a 15 yard curl comeback, and he gets Salters on his back. There's 21. You see, he's just riding his back. There's no way Salters now, with that working against that, again, that 6 4 frame, he can find Spencer Treadwell in the backfield. I make that, excuse me, Jamire Westbrook in the backfield. He's going to swing it out to Harwell, and he's forced out of his jersey in the middle of that scrum as well, but no flag. Now Dicer under pressure, and he'll go down. Bridge everywhere. Not much cushion. Dicer going to sling it out to Cruz, and he's hit immediately as soon as. And going back to toughness, being physical, you see it here, working to Cruz. Nice ball there. Cruz does a nice job of holding on. Dicer steps up, goes deep for Hartwell, and it's knocked away incomplete. He wants to go long. Yeah, Dicer's hit him a couple times in the seam, but you see there, Polk, he's playing with his vision back to the quarterback. So many times. They're gonna swing it to Harwell. He cuts inside, and he'll take it up over the 50 down left of the formation here. Fakes the handoff, does Zach Dicer, has good protection. He's gonna chuck it deep. For the end zone, there's Cruz, and he's got a touchdown this game. Now, what's the difference here from the other deep passes they throw? They get behind Wolf on this. Wolf is playing with his back to the quarterback there. You see it, he's not on top of the receiver. Arwell in motion. Dysert steps up, gonna throw it, and it's caught for the two-point conversion. Dysert. All day. Finally comes back to a short receiver. A lot of times when a quarterback has this much time, there is a hold up front. And it is Fackler who he, he was guilty of holding right there, I think, at the end for Dicer. Zach, look out. Dooley on the pressure. Tight end screen. Steve Mark over the 40. And he got Miami just two of nine on third down today. Dicer steps up. And he'll go down. Jake Dooley. Volumes, considering that track record that he inherited coming into Kent State for him to turn around in just two seasons. Down the middle, Hartwell had to come back for Look out, Dicer flips it underneath Daywan Scott. He picks up a block from Jenkins and gets down to the 20 clear downfield. 
That's a nice job by Darcy, keeping the play alive, stepping up into the pocket, again, showing toughness, and then see Looks over the Kent State defense. And ball tipped in it. Lyman in the coverage, and he's able to come up with a pass breakup. Nice rolling away from Roosevelt Nix, and fires downfield, it's complete. Hey, we talked about just having four catches in the previous two games. He's had a number of, certainly has, has uh, exceeded that today, and he's played a very tough football game. Dysert keeps the play alive, but then he ran headlong into Nix. Lewis, the guilty party this time. You'll see him on the right side going against Mark Fackler. And Fackler has been a force. You see him, he's got a hold of the jersey. And before he let go, the flag flew. And you see Dysert running. Uh, as it is this year, and really he's come back with a vengeance this year. With the blitz on, the screen play to Westbrook. Yeah. But Two safeties backpedaling at the five-yard line. He's looking for Harwell, dumps it off underneath the turn, Andy Cruz. Does he turn his body at all? Yeah, you can see he had that left arm wrapped around him, and that's what draws the flag. It's not the right hand coming in over the top, but the left hand right there. He's got the left hand on his left arm, and I think that's what usually draws the flag. Dysert with four receivers, fakes the handoff. Going in the end zone, there's Cruz, but it's too tall for him. Luke Wall Andy Cruz looked like he might have been open. Cruz so gets by the defender there, is working on the inside. He is definitely open right there. Dicer just sails the ball over his head. With who goes to the top of your screen by his lonesome. He goes to the back of the end zone, and it's Cruz who pulls it in for the Miami. An extra point from drawing themselves to within 20 points. Well, this time he doesn't. Puts it up, hits a man, Nick Harwell, who had a knee down when he caught the ball. So it's number four, Menor, and number one, St. Edward. All the action right here tonight on STO at 7 o'clock. That'll be a great game. Dicer rolling, throwing, caught. And all right, here's Dicer. On a second down and two play, a little tall pass, but Andy Cruz is a tall receiver. And they wanted to move him, gave him a shovel. And he went in the backyard. He says, well, how am I going to move all this coal? Of course, the grandparents said, well, Deep to the end zone. Daywan Scott had it go off. Second before the ball gets here. See, take a look at it again, working over the middle of the field. Right there. That left hand goes up, gets on his shoulder pad, kind of restrict right there. Yeah. And bam, that Good just calls. That Throws, and it's caught. Had some time at uh, Oberlin coaching their football program. There's another famous coach who worked at Oberlin. By the name of Heisman. Eight to go here in the game. Dicer slings it out wide, showing that arm strength. That's a long throw across the field and an easy touchdown grab for Daywan Scott. Good. You see the nice setup there by Dicer. Really looking the safeties and really keeping in the season. I'm not going to say they're peaking, but they're certainly playing well. No, I think the most important thing. They both operate with an X on their jerseys at practice. It might be a neon green suit that they're in this week. Steve Mark, the tight end, makes the catch. It's a Archer, 222 yards. Durham, three touchdowns. And Dicer takes a snap. He looks. And he's going to take off. And a penalty flag flies. Time runs out as he 